Lawson in the KFDI Weather Center. We continue with a severe thunderstorm moving through Sedgwick County with very heavy rain. Moving southeast at 35 miles an hour, moving through the Park City and Wichita areas right now. Torrential rainfall that's going to be limiting visibility and also creating some flooded street conditions with the low visibility. You've got to really watch out for that if you're out this evening. We're getting a wind gust of 50 miles an hour reported, 53 miles an hour near Eisenhower National Airport. That's below severe levels right now, but we're getting reports of some wind damage around downtown uh, Wichita, some tree limbs broken, some power poles damaged as well in the downtown area. Heavy rain moving into downtown and starting to push east of I-135 and into south Wichita as well. Let's see if we can check in with meteorologist Peyton Sanders at Storm Team 12. Yeah, George, our biggest concern here continues to be the wind threat as these storms move east. Uh, we did get an earlier report of a measured 53 mile per hour gust at 119th and Central in West Wichita. That was at 11.20 p.m. Uh, so that matches up kind of what we're seeing now, that report of some wind damage downtown. Uh, this is all kind of spreading from west to east across the city of Wichita. It's not going to mean everyone's going to be getting wind damage, but kind of sporadic uh, wind damage will be possible with this area of thunderstorm activity uh, as it continues to push to the east. The leading edge of it uh, at this moment is continuing to move uh, into the east side of Wichita now. So we still have quite gusty conditions through much of downtown. Uh, all of this continuing to push off in an easterly direction uh, with some heavy rainfall too. We have been noting those rainfall rates as high as about three to four inches per hour. And that's enough to cause some flash flooding um, and very difficult driving conditions as these storms continue. Uh, so so we're continuing to monitor that as these storms move off to the east and southeast. We're not getting hail reports, it seems, although we had that report of large hail near Mount Hope earlier, but we don't seem to be getting that in the Wichita area now. Yeah, it was uh, quite a while ago we did get their large hail reports, even up into Harvey County earlier, and that kind of matches up with what I'm seeing here on radar. Uh, we're not seeing the deeper shades of red, which would indicate a hail threat. Uh, so it does look like we are maybe transitioning more to a wind damage threat for the most part. Uh, could still get some small hail, but in terms of anything uh, damaging, in sort of terms of damaging hail, uh, looks like that potential is pretty low. But heavy rain continues uh, from Goddard through the south side of of Wichita uh, heading out toward Oaklawn. The east side of Wichita is dealing with the heavy rain now. It just started. It's going to continue to push east. So uh, right along the Kansas Turnpike uh, through Sedgwick County, heavy rainfall that will soon be tracking up the Turnpike also into the western part of Butler County up el toward El Dorado. Uh, so difficult driving conditions as these storms continue to move on through. 